Good morning, guys. Hey, I'm going to make a quick video here. I'm kind of making this for another guy that I watch on YouTube. He's a truck driver, and he is always in the mornings. He likes coffee, but he has to uh, to find a, a truck stop or somewhere he can he can get his cup of coffee. And I was telling him how I can have a small little kit where I can make a cup of coffee just about anywhere I want while I'm out on the road. And I keep this with me. Just about all the time. I'm not a big coffee drinker. I don't have to have it every day, but when I want a cup, I, I want to have it. And uh, this right here is, is a great little kit. So I'm just going to show you real quick of uh, what I've got and how I set it up. And I'm going to make a cup of coffee real quick. So basically, this is just a, a little Walmart camp cup. You can get these from any Walmart. They're five bucks. This is uh, a GSI outdoors cup this one came from REI a little more expensive I think this one's around ten dollars but inside this is my coffee creamer that's some hot chocolate all right that didn't work as well as I had planned um, coffee creamer hot chocolate and here I've got a little piece of Reynolds wrap and a windscreen for my little stove that is my stove and this is the fuel for the stove. What I burn as my alcohol, you can use uh, denatured alcohol. I prefer to use this heat. It's gas line antifreeze. Very common at any automotive store. It's very cheap. And it, uh, a lot of people on YouTube have done the, the tests on these things. And <coughs> excuse me, it um, burns the best, fastest, hottest for the lowest cost. So basically everything that you see here just came out of that little cup. So all you have to do, put your fuel, and with this one ounce bottle of fuel, I can make two cups of coffee. So everything that's here, I've got two little packets of coffee, two, uh, enough creamer for two cups. Everything's enough for two cups. So I squeeze a little fuel into this stove. And that's about half ounce. Give that a light. Let's pour some water in the cup. Bear with me. I'm not good with one hand. I only have a half another hand. So. Hold on one second. Alright, so pour your water in the cup. I'm going to go about there. It's about uh, a little over 8 ounces. Alright, now you can see that the stove is starting to bloom. Which means the flame's coming up the side. So it's ready to, uh, ready to boil. There we go. This is going to take probably about 3 to 4 minutes. To, well, the stove will burn itself out once it runs out of that little amount of fuel, but it's just at boiling, maybe just under boiling. But this is bottled water anyway, so I don't technically have to boil it. I just want to get it good and hot so it'll dissolve my instant Starbucks Vias. These are great coffee in my opinion, <clears throat> and they're a lot cheaper than buying it out on the road. You buy uh, these packets. I got them from inside of a Target store. They had the Starbucks inside of there. And this comes in a 10 pack for just over ten dollars so the way i see it you're spending about a dollar a cup if you you know break down your own creamers and all then i've got just some little sugar packets which you can get from anywhere also in there i keep a little thing of uh, nighttime tea this stuff will help you help you relax and sleep when you're out I me mean, i take this kit when i go camping too so and right now i'm in the shop so i really don't need my windscreen but if it was real windy, and you can see it is a little windy out here, I could open up this little screen and put it around the whole concoction, and that uh, keeps the wind off of it, so it keeps my flame going. Then I could take my little piece of Reynolds wrap and make a lid for this to help it uh, heat up quicker, but I'm not too worried about it. I don't want to have to sit around and wait for this to cool off. I want to be able to drink it once it uh, gets going. I'm already running late this morning. I've got a lot to do around the shop today. Trying to get things moved around. I had a small water leak here on the motorhome up on this front corner. I've been uh, fighting it for 
a couple of years now. And I took some time last night, resealed that whole corner, <clears throat> put a put a good seal on it. So I'm really hoping that that's going to fix it. We've got some potential severe weather coming through Virginia tomorrow evening. So I'm going to pull the motorhome out today, get set up outside, get my old truck tucked back in the corner. And I've got a camper outside that uh, came in for a reseal. Had to reseal the roof and I'm resealing around all the windows. So I'm going to try to finish that up today, get it cleaned up and put that here in the shop so I can seal that up and let it dry good. But, all right, well, I'm going to get back to this once the uh, water's hot and I'm ready to add the coffee in. Be right back. All right, so the stove just burned out. It was about three minutes. Just under boiling. You can see it's bubbled up. It's plenty hot. So I got my little Starbucks Via here. Add that in. I'll uh, open up my little creamer here. Let's see if I can't sit this thing down. creamer I mean y'all know that y'all understand the concept now it's basically just make your coffee how you like it I have a little sugar now this stove these are just little alcohol aluminum stoves you can make these yourself out of a beer can Pepsi can whatever you want um, this one I purchased off of eBay it's called a white box stove the guy, uh, I think the name just generated because he ships these things in a small white box, but nothing real fancy. Um, then just stir it up. And then I'm going to, you could drink it right here out of this cup, so you don't even need the, the secondary cup. I just have it, and it fits right inside of this little camp cup. That's the only reason I, I use it. These little stoves, they cool down quick, too. It's a great little kit. It's... Um, <coughs> For total cost, I mean, uh, the stove itself was under ten dollars shipped, and like I said, I mean, I would uh, encourage making one yourself. But then I'll just transfer it into my coffee mug, and you don't have to do this. You can have it right in the the other cup. But this will keep it warmer a little longer. I'm not a real fast coffee drinker, but well, there you go. That's uh, coffee on the road, anywhere you want it, however you like it. Uh, white box stove. Use the heat gas line antifreeze as your fuel. This bottle here is only like $1.50, and this is a 12 ounce bottle. So, definitely efficient. You, uh, you'll save some money versus spending three, four bucks a cup of coffee out there. And the Starbucks Vias, you get those from from any Starbucks. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you soon.